Hey there, this is Arhil Pushpam and this video I am going to show how to add our first component. Uh, so here, uh, last time I tried to open the page in Experience Editor but we found some issue. The same step I tried today but it is working fine. So I think there was some issue with some configuration in last time. Um, so I will show this time. Just go to your home page and then Experience Editor. Time to load. Let's wait. See, we are getting this error, unable to connect to the remote server. The reason is we are working on the connected mode. So we have to open our JS code and then we have to run it, then only it will work. So JS wait until it's complete uh, the build and then compilation. Okay, now my, um, actually my uh, solution is loaded and here it's showing my local host. Let me copy and uh, check it. But still it's showing unable to connect to the remote server. Let me close it and try to open it again. Now my local host is loaded and I'm checking my experience editor. Yeah, now you can see my uh, um, editing section. And here we have a toolbox and we can find a few of the components. These components are already available here. Um, in the SRC, in the component section, component splitter, container and content block, I can find it here. Um, yeah, in which we can't find that content block, yeah, that we can um, explore it later. Um, yeah, now let me try to add uh, one component here. I am adding the title component. Okay. Here is the title, save, after saving it is not showing. Let's try to check the component in localhost now. Yeah, here I can see the component, I think I have added two times. Let me open my experience editor again. Mm, here I can see the component two times, let me remove one of the component and then save. Yeah, okay, so this is the way we can directly add any components here. Um, actually, after saving my page, it is not showing my experience editor. I think there is some bug, uh, but as now we can ignore that and we can try to open it again. Mm, yeah, um, here we go. Uh, so uh, my plan is I, I have already downloaded one of the website, um, Spring HTML. And here, if you go to the index page, you can find some design. Here is the design. So this is the website I am going to build on this uh, series. Let's try to add this header section in the layout file. Uh, so before adding that, anyways, we need all the CSS and JS, right? Uh, so here we have a CSS and then JS. And in the next JS app, we can add the global CSS files under the pages for new folder. Um, under the style under the pages and the folder name is style um, yep yeah. so here I am going to add my CSS and JS files so I have created two folders CSS and JS um, under the CSS folder I am going to move all these CS files Okay, then I like to create one JS folder and there I am going to update my JS file. Uh, let's follow the naming convention, JS. Okay, now we have updated all the CS and JS files. Here, let me okay, all good now. Now uh, we have a layout page in the side core. If you want to add any new component or if you want to add any uh, title for all the pages, then we usually work on the layout page. So on this page, I'm going to add some uh, text value so that we can um, uh, uh, test our changes. 
so here already we have a header right so on this header i am going to add h1 and in the h1 i am going to say hi this is arul pushpam okay uh, yep um, and then let's go to this local host and then refresh yeah see here i can see my name so uh, we can confirm if you want to add any changes then we can directly add it here in the layout level okay um so uh, here we are calling um three placeholders header content and then footer the same placeholder you can find it in the experience editor um here and then experience editor so here there are three uh, placeholders header and then this one the name main and then footer and uh, if you go to the presentation and then details and uh, final layout here you can see placeholder name is headless main actually here we used the headless main headless footer headless header so the same name is coming there um, and then um, let's try to uh, add our header section so what's our header section that is the uh, left side logo and then right side we have some um, menu items uh, but i i just like to add only this logo section um, i don't want to take any complex item now um, so go here and here is the section um, heading hero and i want only this section so um, next this is the section one uh, but i i don't want the right section i i just want only the um, left section okay let me take this i just want only this one copy and uh, at the end we have to close these three fine in the header section i am adding this and then this okay perfect and um, what do we need to use here class name okay it's not a class um, in next days we have to use class name okay okay and uh, we haven't added this uh, images right so where we can add that uh, as now it's directly referring from images folder so let's try to create one more folder here images and try to add it there images and we copy all the images and paste it here okay so images are ready now html snippet and then i am trying to um, compile my application and then yeah see here we can find it but uh, it, it's not loading that images Let's see what happened. Opening tab. Okay, it's trying to open the image in images logo.png. But uh, let me change the code like this. And uh, I'm getting error here. Yeah, uh, some broken image. So I'm going to move all my images into the uh, public folder. Let's try that copy your image folder or uh, cut your folder and then go to your public folder and paste it here i can see all the folders are uh, located here let's try now let's refresh yeah here i can find all the folder all the um, updated images let's try to refresh now yeah see it is loaded now so whenever you update any images you can go to public folder and then here you can update the image let's try to load the same um, in experience editor okay it's logged out home publish experience editor my experience editor is loaded and here it is not loading the image anyways it's expected and uh, whenever it's check my website in uh, local host it is loading 
so if you want to add anything in the layout section we have to go here we can directly add our changes here PML elements um, so in the next video I will show you how to convert this section into the component and how to create the rendering and how we can add the rendering in the page stay tuned thank you